Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 9 of my Wing Not Wings Sopwith Dolphin build. Today, we mainly be gluing the orifice, painting, drilling and rigging. So, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing, get this office glued and crack on with the rest. I have to be honest here, this part is a real ball ache. Don't get me wrong, I'm loving every minute of this model, but it is pushing me way outside my comfort zone. It's awesome, but very intense, and I'm loving it. Here you go, quick show and tell of the office so far. I'm really chuffed with this. What do you folks think? Let me know in the comments below. Now for a bit of airbrushing. I'm gonna do the base color for the wood. I can't remember exactly which one I use, but there are three I use. They're Tamiya's XF57 Buff, XF59 Desert Yellow, or XF60 Dark Yellow. Then. I give it a mahogany wash, this gives a great wood effect and it also denotes different types of wood. Now onto the inside of the fuselage. And on to the pipework in the footwell. Next we do the stirry stick between the jockey's legs. Oops, nearly forgot his slippy slidey pedals. That's the rudder. Good Lord, guess what? Did you see it? Yep, I'm back out with the same colour to do the cables. I'm always doing that, putting a colour away, then realising I still need it and having to put it out. So, let's crack on with the cables. Oh, 
Anyway, that's done. Now a bit of dry fitting. Here I'm going to try to use a fan brush to simulate a wood grain effect. Let's see how this turns out. Mm, do I not like that? So, back to the brush. That's the wooden braces done. Now for the rigging inside the fuselage. I'm doing all the internal rigging lines on the fuselage before I seal it up. The reason is it would be too hard to fix them. Also, I've drilled out some of the holes as they were only slight indents on the plastic and I hate attaching rigging like that. I prefer to give it a good length to adhere to. It makes the connection stronger. Well, I got the wash out to do the floorboards. Oops, didn't realise I hadn't painted the cables yet. So anyway, let's crack on and get those cables painted. Now I can get on with the weathering of this. What I'm doing is I'm using my homebrew black brown ink wash. Check out my how-to guides on how to make it.
there's the washes done. Now to drill the holes on the underside of the fuselage for the undercart rigging. Now for a bit of gluing. What I'm doing is I'm just gluing the runner boards to the base of the fuselage and then let them dry. So there's the floor pan glued and clamped into place. Now to do a bit of gluing on the main office parts, namely just in front, the engine. So let's put the office to one side and in this next section I'm fitting pipes for the radiator. The model doesn't come with these so I decided to add them. Anyway, let's crack on and get this done. Okay, we've got those pipes glued in, so let's get back to some rigging. Mm. So there's that part of the rigging done. Also, this seems like a good place to end episode 9. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.